Hey everyone, I'm Nicole, and today on BioCorner, we are finally going to see something that I can't seem to stop talking about on this channel. That's right, DNA! And we are going to see it by pulling it out of a strawberry. This is a really great science experiment to do at home with your kids during shelter in place. So grab your family, your housemates, your dog, your turtle, your horse, your out farm, whoever you live with, and let's do some fun science. Okay, so first, let me break down the materials you're going to need to do this at home. So you're gonna need one strawberry per person and just make sure you take off the little green leaves first, six tablespoons of water, two teaspoons of dish soap. It attacks grease and stains and cell membranes. And we'll talk about that later. One quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cold isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, a sandwich size Ziploc bag per person, two cups, a sieve or fine mesh strainer, and some tweezers. So first we need our rubbing alcohol to be cold. So we're just going to put the bottle in the freezer since alcohol doesn't freeze at standard freezer temperatures. While our alcohol is cooling down, we're going to mix together the six tablespoons of water, two teaspoons of dish soap, and one quarter teaspoon of salt in one cup. And you just wanna make sure to stir it until the salt has completely dissolved and you don't see any more crystals. Now that it's all mixed together, we will put our strawberry in the Ziploc bag and pour this water soap salt mixture into it. Make sure you zip the bag closed while getting as much air out as possible. And now we get to have some fun and mash up the strawberry. Now, some of you may be wondering why we added soap and salt to our water to mush up a strawberry. Soap is a detergent and scientists use detergents to break down the membranes of cells because these membranes are made up of fat molecules. It's like when you have to add soap to clean a greasy or oily pan. Water alone doesn't break down the oils and fats. It needs help from the soap. So soap is breaking down the cell membranes, which are like the skin of the cells and the organelles inside the cell. But what about the salt? Salt is something called an ionic compound, meaning it is held together by positive and negative charges. When the salt is dissolved, those positive and negative charges go around and disrupt proteins that are binding to each other and DNA, which helps us untangle the DNA from everything else inside the cell. And this will really help us out later. All right, so let's check on our strawberry mash. We want to make sure we've mushed it up enough so that there aren't any big chunks left. And it looks like we pretty much got all of them, so this is good to go. So now I'm going to grab the strainer or sieve, whatever you wanna call it, and put it over a smaller cup. If you have a small cup, I would recommend using that. It will just make pulling the DNA out a little bit easier. I'm going to pour the mashed up strawberry into the sieve to separate the liquid and the bits of solid strawberry and the seeds that are still left. It will also help if you get a spoon and gently press into the solid bits that are left behind just to get as much liquid into the cup as possible. All right, so now we have our liquid separated in one cup and now we need our rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol is important because it will bring the DNA out of the strawberry liquid. But how does it do that? It's because all of the components of a cell that are not DNA, so organelles, membranes, proteins, are soluble in alcohol, meaning they won't form a separate layer when alcohol is around. DNA, on the other hand, is not alcohol soluble. So it will separate from the alcohol and other cellular components in a separate layer that we can actually see. So get your tweezers and be ready to grab some DNA. All right, so we're going to add one teaspoon of the rubbing alcohol to our liquid. And now what we're looking for is sort of a thin whitish layer. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, there's a stringy goop. There we are. There's more in here, but I can't get all of it. Cause my, aha. Look at that! There's the DNA. Stringy genetic material that makes a strawberry a strawberry. All right, so there it is. That's the DNA that was in our strawberry. This is the instructions that makes our strawberries red. How sweet they are, their shape, and so many other things. And a big reason why this experiment works with something as common as a strawberry is because strawberries have eight copies of their DNA in every single cell. In comparison, 
human cells only have two copies of their DNA in every cell. So there's literally a lot of DNA that you can grab out of just one cell. All right guys, that's our experiment. I hope you all enjoyed actually getting to see the DNA that I talk about so much and that it was a fun activity to do at home. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or any of my other videos and leave a comment if you want more at home biology experiments or have a question. Bye!